Hey friends, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm just gonna be doing a day in the life, showing you guys all the different things that I'm getting done. I kinda got on a cleaning spree and did a lot of organizing and cleaning in between cooking all the meals for my family. And so I just brought the camera around and showed you everything that I did on this day. Now, if you guys think I'm talking a little quiet, I'm talking into a mic, but I do have a sleeping baby with me while I'm doing this voiceover. And so I'm trying to be a little quiet so I don't wake him up. I hope you guys are kind of enjoying this new style of video that I'm doing where I'm kind of bringing the camera around and then later on sitting down and doing the voiceover. This way works so much better for me because it can be loud around my house. And I commonly get asked, where are your kids when you're cooking? Because you don't always see them in the video. But I promise you, they are all around, running around just on the outsides of my camera. I'm constantly saying, I'm filming, don't walk this way or go around that way. And so they're all around, typically under my feet or just right out of the frame of the video. And so if the audio is on while I'm cooking, you would be hearing a lot of, lots of different noises, let's just say that. And so turning it off and doing it all and then sitting down for the voiceover later has been working really well for me. All right, so anyway, for this breakfast, I am making some sausage and eggs and some toast. I had just finished a loaf of sourdough bread. Um, I had it rising overnight and baked it this morning. And so I'm using that to make my toast. And yesterday, we actually went over to my aunt's house because she had a ping pong table that she wanted to give to my kiddos. And so while I was there, she had these boxes of sausage with, um, that were already like in patties. And this is actually the sausage from my sister's farm because lots of people in my family buy all of their meat from them. And she said that they weren't going to get through all of it and asked if we wanted it. And of course, I never turned down any food. She also has a huge garden and gave me a bunch of potatoes, some cantaloupe, which you're gonna see later on in my breakfast. And she gave me some tomato. So I always just take anything and everything because we will eat it. And so these actually were really convenient and nice. I just put them on a skillet. I did add a little bit of butter because sausage doesn't have as much fat as beef does. And so I like to add a little bit extra fat to it. And these were really good. And so I'm excited. They're a little bit getting on the end of being like kind of freezer burnt. They taste it great, but we're going to definitely use up all of these before we get into any of our other sausage. So you'll probably be seeing these in the next several videos. All right. So for the bread, I find whenever you have a bigger family, it's easiest just to toast it with a little bit of butter on a cast iron skillet. I can do lots of pieces at a time rather than putting it in the toaster. And with homemade bread, when I put it in the toaster, never is like the right size and I lose little pieces and it crumbles or I can't get it back out. And so doing it on the stove top is a great way to make a lot of bread at once. And then obviously I'm just scrambling up some eggs and then I am gonna be serving this with a fresh cantaloupe straight out of my aunt's garden. Um, I found out that basically I'm the only one in my family that likes cantaloupe. I don't know how I haven't found this out by now. I mean, I knew my husband didn't like it, but I guess I never buy it because my kids all were like, yeah, I wanna try it, it looks so good. You know, it's like nice and orange and colorful and none of them ate it. So looks like I'm gonna be eating cantaloupe, which is no problem. I love a fresh cantaloupe. I even told them, you guys, you guys this is so good compared to like a cantaloupe at the store. And even my husband, none of them like it. So anyway, I sliced up a whole cantaloupe that I'll be eating by myself, apparently. All right, so after breakfast, I'm actually making myself a little coffee. You guys know I'm not much of a coffee drinker, but if I add in enough cream and syrup, I do enjoy it. Um, but today, when I was going to clean out my husband's French press, I could tell that there was quite a bit left in there. So I poured myself a cup, and in my little frother here, I'm adding in some cream and maple syrup, a little bit of vanilla, and cinnamon. I'm definitely one of those people that adds like half cream and sugar over the coffee. And so 
anyway, this was so good. And I just poured it over top of the coffee and had some of this. And you'll see later on, way later on in the day, I still have this coffee because after I took a few sips, totally forgot about it. And that is kind of the story of my life with coffee. All right, so after breakfast, I am just cleaning up the table. It is a really nice day outside. It's like one of the first days in a while where it's not like extremely hot. So all of my kids are outside riding bikes, and so I'm cleaning up the table. And to start off, I'm just clearing it, and then I am taking outside the table runner and just shaking it off the back deck. It is filthy. I probably need to actually wash it, but for now I'm just going to shake all the crumbs off and call it good. And then I'm wiping down the table really, really well. This table can get, as you can imagine, very sticky, and sometimes it just needs like a really good wipe down with actual soapy water and like scrubbing it and then re-drying it. And then I'm just gonna put the tablecloth back on it or the table runner and maybe I'll get around to washing that later on in the week. All right so while I'm working on dishes I'm going to talk to you guys about probably I don't know I already said that my most common question was about holding my baby that's one. I have another common question which I'm going to address in a later video but this is probably the in the top three of common questions I get is why I don't use a dishwasher and I know this is against like all social norm people love dishwashers and I do have a running working dishwasher in my house I have one in my last house but I'm just gonna say it I think that washing dishes by hand is actually easier than using a dishwasher and I know some of you guys right now are like what <laughs> I can't believe it because I have had this conversation with people in my real life and people think that I'm crazy but hear me out Actually, I have a sister that agrees with me, and we both have large families, and we both cook all of our meals from scratch at home every day, like three meals in our home. And I find that when I use my dishwasher, one, I can do it faster by hand, and two, when I do use a dishwasher, because I have used it in the past, like a long time ago, before I realized that I didn't like it, is that I am constantly pulling things back out of it because once I am done with breakfast and I go to cook lunch, there's like a certain spatula or spoon or pot in the dishwasher that I need to make my lunch. So then I have to pull it out. And now by now it's all like crusted over and really hard to clean, but I have to like clean it off so I can use it for my next meal. So I think that it's easier if you do dishes right away, right after you're done cooking, nothing stuck on there. And also I will admit, I am not near as picky as probably like 90% of you guys watching, I am not a germaphobe. I get the job done, but I probably do what most of you guys would consider rinsing rather than washing, but this is the way I do it. This is the way I've done it for 11 years since being married and having kids, and by golly, it works out fine. So if you have a different system, that's cool. For me, this works so well. So I just run everything under. I do use extremely hot water. Like my kids, if they ever come up to like wash their hands while I'm doing dishes, they're like, oh my gosh, like it burns their hands. So I think that if I just use really hot water, it's fine. But anyway, I use a lot of hot water. I do spray them with my little homemade dish soap. And if I clean them right after I'm done washing, it's a quick job done. And then I put everything in the drying rack and then it's ready for me for the next meal. And we just pull out of there all day long. Those are the same plates that we're gonna use again for lunch, same ones that we'll use for dinner, and so on. So like for me, it just makes sense to just quickly wash them. I can wash all of these dishes. Now obviously in my videos, sometimes you things, see things that are edited out or things get sped up, but I really can wash all the dishes in like five minutes. And then I also use pretty much all cast iron in my cooking and cast iron skillets don't need to be washed every time. I just rinse them and get like food out or if there's not like anything stuck to it, I do a quick wipe with a cloth. I wouldn't put those in the dishwasher anyway. So for me, just doing it by hand makes so much more sense. Like I said, I've used dishwashers in the past and they never, it never works out. I'm constantly taking things back out of there. So I don't know, maybe you guys have a better system. It works for you. Let me know. But for me and also my sister, I will say, she's like the only one who agrees with me on this. I find that doing it by hand is so much quicker and so much easier. Also, 
you have a baby or a toddler, anytime that dishwasher's down, I remember having like two toddlers when I did use it, they immediately climb into the dishwasher, they're pulling like the knives out, and I don't know, how do you keep your baby off of the dishwasher if you do use it? Because that never worked for me. All right, so after doing all the dishes, I am getting lunch started pretty quickly today because I am making a ham hock. We got, I told you guys a couple videos ago, we got our um, hog that we raised ourselves. We got all that meat back and I got majority of it back in sausage and bacon because let's just face it, everybody loves sausage and bacon. Can never have too much of that. But we did get the ham hock. When I got it back, I noticed that it wasn't packaged right. Like it was kind of loose. So I'm like, we got to make this right away. So I put it straight in the fridge. It's defrosted. So that's what I'm starting with for lunch. Now I'm going to start it now um, by searing it. It, adding in some liquid and then I'm gonna let it slow cook and then I'll finish this up a little bit later I do have this recipe on our cooking blog so if you guys are familiar or know we do have a we have two blogs actually we have the hourly house blog with all of our different like skincare hair care cleaning recipes that kind of stuff and then we have a cooking blog and this is where you're going to find all of our different recipes i'll link this blog below it's castironskilletcooking.com obviously it's all things made in dutch ovens cast iron skillets that's our favorite things to cook in and so i'll link that below and also this recipe but that's where you can find majority of our cooking recipes are going to be on that blog now Today is a busy day. We have something going on a little bit later, which I'll tell you about. But while the ham hock is in the oven, my baby is sleeping. And I'm going to also mention that he is now taking his naps down in his bed. I do tend to carry my babies for the whole first year. He is turning one um, at the end of this month. And he just started getting to the point to where nap time wasn't really working as well on my wrap. He wasn't sleeping as well. He was getting harder to put to sleep sleep and I always get questions about how I know when it's time to transfer the baby down to a bed and I just play it by ear for each baby and it was just time and he is doing so well he takes a passy so I think that's helps but I just literally one day nursed him and not letting him fall asleep while he's nursing, laid him down, gave Miss Passy, patted him a little bit, and then I leave the room, and then my husband, if he fusses at all, will be the one that goes in and pats him so he doesn't see me. And he, it took like a couple of days, and he is doing so well. And so for now, that's what we're doing. We could go back. You might see me holding him in some future videos, but for today, he is laying down in his bed. And so while the ham hock is cooking and everyone is happily playing and the baby is sleeping I am tackling some kitchen drawers this actually happened because when I went to put away the silverware after doing the dishes I'm like oh my gosh this drawer is like so disgusting <laughs> and needs to be cleaned out and so I am taking everything out of the drawers I am wiping them down I am reorganizing and one thing led to another and I basically did all of the drawers in my whole kitchen island and it just is a job that probably needs to be done you know, a few times a year, but one of those things that you don't really do all the time, but taking everything out, vacuuming them and like wiping down and like actually cleaning the silverware drawers and all the little containers. And also while I'm in here, finding things that we don't use and like extra lids that we don't even have the bottoms to anymore. So like throwing away things that are just building up clutter, and then also taking inventory and seeing things that we might need. This is just one of those jobs that sometimes needs to be done. So anyway, I am doing that today. It wasn't really something that I had on my schedule. It just, when I was putting away dishes, I was like, this needs to be done. And that's kind of what I do in my house. I don't necessarily have like a, I used to back in the day, probably when I was like newly married and only had a couple of kids, I definitely had like, okay, Monday is cleaning the bathrooms day, Tuesday's laundry day, Wednesday's this day. Now it's just when I have an extra pocket of time, I just do what I can. That's kind of where I'm at in this season of life. There's not always extra time to do things and they get pushed off. But when I have any time when it's like, okay, this is the time to do it, I just knock something out really quick. And so even though this wasn't necessarily on the schedule for today, because I had time, I just went ahead and got this done. 
All right, guys, I wanna take a quick moment to thank today's video sponsor, Element. Element is a tasty electrolyte drink with everything that you need and nothing that you don't. Element is formulated to help anyone with their electrolyte needs and is perfectly suited for those who are following a keto, low carb, or paleo diet. Because everyone in my family enjoys these, I personally love that they don't have any added sugar or junk or artificial flavoring, no colorings. It's gluten-free and it has no fillers. When you sweat, the primary electrolyte lost is sodium, and when sodium is not replaced, it's common to experience muscle cramps and fatigue. My whole family loves all of the Element flavors. In fact, a couple of weeks ago, we sat down with little cups and we were trying all the different kinds. Everyone was voting on which ones they liked best, and we were putting them in order, which is kind of funny because we have all the different flavors. And even my toddler asked for these, so we are personally trying to drink one of these every day just because this time of year we spend so much time outside as a family whether we're on a bike ride playing basketball soccer just living an active lifestyle and I want to make sure that we are all getting those electrolytes replaced and so we are trying to drink one every single day to make sure that that happens. Element can help prevent and eliminate headaches, muscle cramps, fatigue, sleepiness, and other common symptoms of electrolyte deficiencies. Right now Element is offering my viewers a free sample pack with any order. That's eight single serving packets free with any Element order. This is a great way to try all of the different Element flavors or even share them with a friend. So if you want this deal, you can go to drinkelement.com slash our oily house. That's D-R-I-N-K-L-M-N-T dot com slash our oily house. Or you can use the link in my description box below. All of the cabinets clean it was time to finish up lunch and so for this I'm dicing up some onions and peppers and I'm going to be adding some beans to this I'm making a kind of like a baked beans but with a lot of ham in it to count it as lunch again this wasn't necessarily the thing that I was going to make for lunch um, sometimes it just is what's in the refrigerator then I go and kind of peek in the pantry and around in the <laughs> you know, refrigerator and just see what I have. And this is this is what I'm making. So, so I'm adding a few extra things to this to make it a meal. Now, this would be so good with cornbread, but we don't have time for that. So on this day, actually, as soon as I'm done making this, my daughter and a couple of my little boys are running out. We're picking up my nieces from their gymnastics class and I am taking the girls all shopping. Our girls decided a couple months ago they did a little tea party at my sister's house and they thought it was so much fun they figured why not just do this monthly. So this is our month to host a tea party and so they are so excited about this. They have their own list going and so I'm taking the Walmart. I'm going to let them get what they need for their party and then my sister's girls are coming back to my house and the girls are going to cook and decorate and prepare because all of their little friends are coming over tomorrow night for a tea party. You see these clips of me cleaning up lunch. This was a very like different kind of lunch because some people ate lunch while we were gone. We kind of left right around lunchtime because that was the time that my nieces were done with their class that we were picking them up from. And so my husband and a couple of my other boys that stayed home were eating. My youngest, my or my toddler, was napping during this time and so he ate when he woke up. And so we all ate at different times and I never got a clip of the finished product, but you can see here that my Dutch oven is scraped clean. Everybody loved this dish. And so here I am just kind of like cleaning up and you'll see a bunch of extra things on the counters. The girls got crackers and sausage and they're gonna do charcuterie boards, lots of fruit, and they actually wanna make chili. That was what, you know, that was their menu. I'm letting them plan this all themselves. And so we will be preparing all of that later on. But um, so yeah, I'm just getting things cleaned up. And after lunch, it's already after two and the baby is sleeping. So I'm gonna go ahead and get dinner started. And I did not follow my own rule of having meat to frost it. So I'm putting a couple pounds of ground beef in some water. And I'm also putting in a bag of beans because we cooked up a bunch of beans, like dried beans. 
I don't know, a couple months ago, and these need to be used. So I'm gonna find a recipe later on where that calls for meat and beans. I'm not really sure what, but I'll figure that out later. And while all of this meat and everything is defrosting, I'm actually gonna get back into my cleaning just because um, the baby's sleeping again and everyone is happy. And so I'm gonna keep going around the kitchen. For starters, I'm outside putting away water bottles. This has been the best thing that we discovered. I find that in the summertime that water bottles are up constantly because when we go to the park, when we go swimming, we go to the fair, wherever we're at, everyone needs a water bottle and I get so tired of having like a million cups spread out around my kitchen. I just can't stand it. And so I told the kids, when you're not using your water bottle, they actually go out and they dump any extra water out onto our herb garden so that waters the garden and then putting them out on a towel outside to like dry and if they need to rinse them they can but they're in charge of their own water bottle but if they're out in the sunroom and I don't see them all around the kitchen it makes me happy so we store them all out here and then when they're dry I'll put them away so I'm putting all the water bottles away and then I'm going underneath of the sink and I'm cleaning out under here now this is a spot where we keep like our vinegar, our Castell soap, and our natural cleaners. I do keep all this under the sink because none of it's harmful. So if my baby is playing under here, it's totally fine. In fact, one time my sister-in-law was over and I had a baby. I don't think it was my current baby, it was my toddler at the time, was crawling around under there. She's like, oh my gosh, he's in the cleaning supplies. I'm like, it's fine. It's literally like vinegar and some like lemon essential oil. So anyway, I am cleaning out under the sink. It gets pretty dirty because the baby's always under there like moving things and playing with it. And then I'm moving to the drawers that are right next to the sink. Again, just taking everything out, wiping down all of the drawers and vacuuming out things and be vacuumed out, reorganizing, finding things that definitely we aren't using anymore and I can get rid of. So I am just doing those types of things. Um, next, I am moving down to our towel drawer. This drawer, I don't even know why I'm folding these. It just makes me feel good to have it clean for a second. But this is a drawer that my baby plays in constantly. I try to keep things down low that he can get into just because when I'm in the kitchen cooking, he is at my feet crawling around. He's really happy to go in there and like pull all the towels out and scatter them all around the floor. And then people just pick them up and throw them back in. So these won't stay folded, but for now I am folding them and I'm kind of organizing and seeing things that don't belong in here. Um, getting rid of ones that are really like totally yucky and gross and just kind of reorganizing this bottom drawer. All right, next I am going into my little closet above my stairs, and this is where I keep all the different props that I use for my pictures and stuff when I'm taking pictures for our Arley House blog. And so I am organizing this. This little black bin is kind of our catch-all, and you see I have like pieces of our vacuum in here and just like, I don't know, so many random things. This, this thing has been needing to be cleaned out. And so I'm gonna organize this um, drawer, this bucket, and also these shelves. And I'm gonna also buy some more of these little gray bins that I'm using to organize like some of the things in. Um, I'm gonna stack more of these in the closet. There's also a shelf up higher. So I'm gonna order some more of those and maybe organize this even a little bit better. But for now, I'm just going through cleaning this out and then I'm going to scrub the floor in this closet. This is where I keep our vacuum and our dustpan and the sweeper and so this floor can get kind of yucky and sticky. So I'm gonna get that cleaned out and put this all back together. Next, I'm going over to our china cabinet. This is a catch-all for random things, and when we use oils, I don't always put them back in the box. I just like throw them behind the books here. And so I'm going to clean this out, reorganize my oil box, dust it, and just clean all of the windows and kind of reorganize this little area. I love this little china cabinet. I think it's so pretty and I like keeping kind of the nicer dishes in here. It's a nice place for decor and I love decorating it for the different seasons. So just sprucing up this little area and then it will be time to start dinner. 
All right, so for dinner, I searched on Google ground beef casseroles and I found a Fiesta cheesy beef casserole. So I'm actually following this recipe. I don't have exactly everything to make this, but I'm gonna make two. So it called for one pound of ground beef. I did two, I did an onion, and then it called for a can of black beans. So I'm using the black beans that I defrost it. And then it called for picante sauce, but I had salsa, so I figured that would do. And then it actually called for a cream of chicken soup. And I actually had one random can of cream of chicken and mushroom soup that I used to make a green bean casserole for Thanksgiving probably two years ago. So I checked the expiration date and it actually expired like last month. So I figured it was fine. Smelled it, tasted fine. The time of this voiceover, so already several days after we ate this and it was fine. So no one got sick. So I decided to use that. It also called for diced tomatoes. I did not have any diced tomato. Well, actually I did have several cans of diced tomatoes, but I also had a lot of fresh tomatoes and it also called for green chilies, but I had fresh peppers. So I did, did switch this recipe up pretty much. I will link the recipe that I used down here, but I did use fresh tomatoes, fresh peppers, um, you know, I just kind of changed it up a little bit with things that I had, but this was really good. My husband said I should put this into the regular rotation of meals that I make. Um, basically, it was ground beef with lots of tomatoes and onions and salsa, and then you put in crushed up tortilla chips. I only had maybe a half a bag of tortilla chips, so I didn't have quite enough, but it still tasted fine. I put a layer on the bottom, then a layer on top, added in a bunch of cheese and put this in the oven. Now, after I got this in the oven, we went outside and we were playing soccer. We just had the whole family and my nieces were here and we were playing soccer. And whenever we were done, we came in, everyone was hungry and we immediately started eating and I did not get any clips of the final. I'm like, man, I'm being a horrible vlogger today. And like when I was going to get my second plate, I was like, I could definitely get out the camera and record this but I was lazy, did not feel like it, so I just did it. But we'll say we ate almost all this. I think there was a little bit of leftovers that we ate for lunch the next day, but really good recipe, so I'll link it down for you guys below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, maybe got some good meal inspiration, some cleaning inspiration. Maybe you can get in there and clean out your cabinets and <laughs> different things, but if you're new here, please that subscribe button. I get out a new video every single week.